A dozen of the 19 candidates in the running for president in Haiti are calling for today's election to be cancelled due to alleged fraud. A News videographer Brandon Strain and reporter Stephen Andrew were in Haiti during the election campaign. They were following four firefighters from Langford working to make life a little easier for the Haitian orphans. The trip was just part of an overall mission to rebuild the orphanage destroyed by January's earthquake. And Stephen joins us now with more on the project. Thank you very much. Well, the man who's been leading this mission to Haiti, he's traveled there f three times now, is Chief Bob Beckett from the Lancaster Fire Department, and he joins us now in the studio. Thanks for coming in. Good evening. Every time you go, uh, does it change your outlook of the country? Well, it's a new experience every time we have been there. Uh, we see things that have progressed, and we see some things, unfortunately, that, that uh, are not working very well. What is working, though, is in the orphanage itself, the, one, the orphanage you're trying to rebuild. When you originally started this project, you said it'll be done, up and done by November. That was Stu Young, the mayor of Langford's uh, goal for it. But once you get on the ground, you find it, it, there are some major challenges that we don't face here in Canada. Oh, clearly. Um, but that didn't deter us. Uh, we, we, we kept focused. And uh, I'm, I'm pleased on behalf of Mayor and Council and, and the community and, and the donors that have sponsored and, and funded us um, to announce that the contract should be signed off on, on Monday. Um, we'll be forging ahead and completed within approximately six months. Which is really good news. It's fantastic news. How did you feel when, when, you, when you got the news? I know that over the past few months, it's, it's been frustrating. Mm -hmm. I mean, not just because of the, uh, the, the conditions down there, but also the logistics of getting equipment, getting materials into the site. And every time I, I spoke to you, you thought you'd taken one step further, and no, it wasn't quite there. Was it a relief when you got that? A that huge word? huge relief. Um, and I think it's really important to understand that, that we were doing due diligence. Um, there's a committee that's working behind the scenes to ensure that every dollar raised, 100% of that dollar would go into the project. Um, so, so, so we had to do our homework. We had to make sure that our partners uh, were those that we could count on and, and that the product would be done um, to our expectations and for the needs of the children. And of course you're using the contractor that is down there building those cottages that are being funded by the Italian military, those that will serve as the dormitories. There's two there now, could be three in yes. the near future. Talk a bit about what you saw when you went in those homes. Uh, vastly different than other construction that, that we saw in Haiti when we were there. Well, they, they are uh, designed to a post-disaster uh, standard. Um, they are designed for developing countries for hot climates that have lots of wind, lots of rain, and lots of termites. And these, these buildings are built like a, a brick outhouse, if I can use that expression. Um, they are going to be phenomenal uh, dwellings for the children and for the adults that, that are there. They're, they're simple, um, but they're very fundamental. Um, and they'll provide wonderful security and, and safe housing. And, and a new type of construction, really, for the Haitian construction workers that, that were working on the project. They hadn't seen those techniques in, in quite some time. No, it, it is all brand new, and that's one of the reasons that we uh, did elect to go with Shelter to Home, uh, the company out of the States, is that uh, their mandate is to ensure that 99% uh, of, the, of the labor is all Haitian and local Haitian, including hiring some of the orphans that, that are there in the orphanage some of the older older uh, children there. Which, which is working to develop that community in a bigger uh, way, is it not? Oh, absolutely. It, it's, it's almost like a journeyman program that they're trying to develop these, these individuals so that they in turn can, can build a larger capacity for their product using the, the Haitian workers there. Can't wait for the opening, Bob. Thank you. Thanks very much. And if you would like more information on the Langford Project, you can go to their website. It's teamhaitichildren.com.